What happens when a free gift comes with an expensive catch? The moneyologist Quentin Fatrell is here to weigh in. Hey, Quentin. Hi, how are you? Good, thank you. So you got a question from a reader. They wrote in and they said their friend offered them a free ticket, said, you know, come to a show with me. I got these tickets for free. In exchange to sort of thank me, you can buy me dinner. Now this sounds like a kind of a pretty common scenario. Tell us more about it and sort of what went wrong. Right, so the tickets were free <laughs> right. because the guy who had these free tickets, uh, I think they were worth about $70 each. Um, he chose the restaurant where they should eat. And they went to a sushi restaurant in Gramercy in New York. And this fellow decided to choose the most expensive sushi on the menu. Oh, man. And the bill came to $150. Oh, so the guy who was getting these supposedly free tickets ended up forking out $150 for, oh. uh, for, you know, for this food. And he was sort of stumped by it. And he was a little bit outraged, I suppose. That is outraged. You think you're, you're getting a favor from a friend, and you end up sort of losing money on the deal. Right. So I sort of call this gift hacks. I mean, right. it doesn't just happen with um, the IRS and it's not um, just related <laughs> to concert tickets. It's when people give you things for free and there's really a, a catch and there's they expect something in return. That's not friendship. That's a little... <laughs> no. But, yeah, so, I mean, like, when that bill came, is there anything that friend could have done? I, I mean, think, it's in a tough situation. Yeah, I mean, I was surprised that the letter came from New York because right, I think any yeah. New Yorker would say, what? <laughs> I don't I'm not paying so. $150 <laughs> for... You know, and I think it was yeah. clever that it happened in increments that he was sort of conned piece by piece right. by piece because first of all he chose the restaurant which is the first red flag you know it's just Judy would say that was your first mistake to agree to that uh -huh. and then when the bill came that was the time but people don't do these people even in uh, in uh, department stores people can uh, pay more than they want to pay because they feel embarrassed oh, and I think I that's the big takeaway here he was embarrassed he didn't want to be come across as cheap uh. even though he knew he was being conned wow you know and sometimes people are pressurized into things in other situations too so I think the takeaway is really uh, you really need to speak up and if you feel embarrassed you have to you know trust your instincts that you're right and you're not being cheap that what if you feel like something is wrong here whether it's a friend who's taking advantage or you're so you're somewhere else um, in, a, in a store then you need to speak up speak up you might want to be the one to choose a restaurant too if you even agree to go that far right Right. right, and actually, you know, seventy-five dollars ended up what, 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 what the tickets would have cost, judging by the price of this meal. Um, you know, tickets, concert tickets have over the last three decades, they've doubled, um, they increased more than inflation. Uh, one Direction is the number one uh, band this year. Wow. Um, it was $80 a ticket. Fleetwood Mac had the second uh, most revenue from tickets. They charged 130, over $130 on average per oh ticket. So actually this, this meal, as expensive as it was, looks pretty cheap. I guess so, but maybe you should have Fleetwood Mac or Beyonce pay for your tickets there. You're for your dinner next time. That would be a really good idea because <laughs> I know be they great. can afford it. <laughs> they sure can. Thank you so much, Quentin. Pleasure.